Uh, hello, Ashley, Boob, Leslie, Karina, sounds great. What's up, Tattoo Boss Body? Uh, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Uh, sorry, it's, it took me a little while. I was trying to get everything figured out for, for a little bit. Uh, but we're here. We're here. That's all that matters. And I'm not playing music, mainly because TikTok and IG. Thank you, Delfina. Delfina, thank you, Pam, Chantel, Bri Bri. What's up, Swirl Up? How are you guys? We're about to start doing the questions. Shout out to everyone. If uh, it's probably, I'm probably gonna do like three, four day, three days of lives where it, I'm just answering your guys' questions. Uh, what's up, Grizel? How are you? Just because you guys did ask a lot of questions, and I want to get to all the good ones. What's up? Hey, Hefecito. What's up, KD? Hello, Star. Uh, Yoli, what's up, girl? Love the hat. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. So, uh, if I don't get to your question today, don't worry. I'm going to try to get to your question one of these days. Just know that I'm going to do about like three, four lives of just the questions. I do record them. It is being recorded right now. After I recorded it, I do upload them over onto YouTube. So definitely follow my YouTube. The same channel where I post the podcast is where I post these questions at too. So, uh, and if I don't get to your comments, don't feel bad. I'm focusing on answering the questions, but definitely chime in. If you guys have something to say, like after I answer one of these questions, definitely chime in. Scarface, what's up? Oh, so slow. How are you? Uh, D Roses, Stephanie, um, if uh, if you guys, you know, feel free. And then also make sure you guys like the live too. Share the live if you guys can. It definitely helps out uh, and it definitely keeps me from doing NPC stuff. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. No, that's not me. It's it's single tattooed mama sees. I see you, girl. Hi from Dallas. All right, so let's get into the questions now. I had to go through and I had to blur them all, <laughs> or most of them, uh, because again, uh, TikTok and IG be getting super sensitive, and we're trying to keep things censored here because they be super sensitive. So, all right, let's get into the first question that we have. Is there such a thing as more than a situation ship, but not a relationship? What? My supposedly situationship seems to having issues understanding there's no such thing, or maybe I'm the wrong one. We need a different point of view. There is absolutely nothing more than a situationship. Like, uh, you guys are either in a relationship or like in a situationship. Uh, there's nothing more. Look, somebody in the chat tell me, is there something more than a situationship? What is it like? Uh, Pending relationship? I don't know. Like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think that there is anything more than a situationship uh, because a situationship is technically a pending relationship. There's no, <laughs> there's no difference. So if he's telling you that, he's probably lying to you. Look, nope, 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 nope. Everyone's saying no. He is definitely stalling. He is definitely making shit up because he doesn't want to be in a relationship. But let's be honest. If he really wanted to be in a pending relationship with, <laughs> uh, not the pending relationship. Uh, catching feeling, uh, yeah, there's nothing more. If he's telling you, oh, yeah, we're more than a situation ship, he's just stalling and doesn't want a relationship with you because why would you stall? If you really want a relationship with somebody else and you don't want to be a placeholder or anything like that, they would get into a relationship, like make it official. Because imagine there's like situ pre situation ship, situation ship pending relationship in the relation you know what i mean like no come on now it's either you're in a relationship or not that's it so situationships are unnatural it was uh what was it say it was the same why not just make it official exactly he's just waiting to find somebody else exactly you're probably just a placeholder until he finds somebody else so just think about that i'm just saying like it happens it definitely definitely happens let's get into the next question so there is no pending relationship come on come on now Talking to a guy that has pictures of his wife on IG. Does that mean that they're still together? He said he is single. Um, of course, he's not going to tell you what you want to hear. This is why, like, when I'm done with a relationship, get rid of all their stuff, delete all their stuff. Uh, if he didn't delete it, he could be, like, holding on to something. I, I just released that podcast today. Uh, top 10 re like reasons uh, your partner may not be healed. Holding on to stuff like that probably means that they're trying to hold on to that relationship still. Or, of course, of course, he's not going to tell you that they're working it out. They're in a relationship still. They're married. He's going to tell you he's single. Like, imagine, like, oh, yeah, like, uh, I'm technically getting married. But, you know, what? as long as she don't find out. I mean, some guys probably would say that. But as long as she don't find out, we good. <laughs> uh, dangerous to be in a love trial. Yeah, I wouldn't. 
always take everything with a grain of salt. Like, is he going to be 100% honest with you? Probably not. So just take that into account because uh, guys are not going to be 100% honest. I'll tell you that right now. Like, uh, they're, they're going to tell you what you want to hear in order for them to, you know, <laughs> uh, get, get it in. Send me the link to your glasses. I love the content you've been posting behind uh, your POV. Hey, Maria, como estas? How are you? She's a, she's a friend over from Idaho. I was Maria's. Some of the freshest water in, in Idaho Falls. I'll definitely send you the link. So if you guys haven't been following me on Snapchat, I've been posting all like behind the scenes stuff uh, with my uh, made of Ray-Ban glasses. I'm getting better at it. People were like, you're moving too fast. Okay, I get it. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, you just got to get used to it. So uh, I'll definitely send you the link. Uh, follow me on Snapchat. Link is in the bio. Like, if you want to get all the BTS type of stuff. Uh, all right, so let's get into the next question. Sorry if I'm not answering the comments or anything like that, just because I am trying to get to these questions, and there is a lot. Trust me. About how many girls hit you up on the daily para saber si tengo una oportunidad? Um, it's. I'm sure people shoot their shot all the time, and I'm flattered and everything like that. But you have to remember, like, right now, I really don't check my DMs because uh, the only time I, I check my DMs is to go in and screenshot questions. Like, that's basically what I do is when I go in to screenshot questions and uh, I really not in the headspace right now to. Oh, I forgot. I was like, what is that noise? But I forgot I have my dishwasher going. Uh, I'm really not in the headspace like right now to be like, oh, yeah, let me go like. If I could, I could probably go and message a bunch of girls on my DMs. Like, let's be honest. Uh, but right now, I'm focusing on, like, the social medias, the uh, the job that I have right now. Like, just all that content, that's what I'm focusing on. We're not focusing on that, uh, like, that right now. But I'm sure I do. And thank you guys for all the kind messages that you guys do send. The ones that I love is, like, when you guys send me stuff about the podcast, how you guys appreciate the podcast, the videos, and stuff like that. I really do appreciate it. So shout out to everyone who sends me those messages. It motivates your boy to keep on making content for you guys. Next question. Would you be open to dating someone that you perceive as a goody, good, nice girl, but find out that she has a little bit of a, she has a little bit of experience with S. Now, this one's difficult because I like a girl who is kind of spicy, right? Like she got to be spicy. If I have to be teaching somebody like, that's probably a no for me, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have to tell them, like, how to go down on you. You know what I mean? Like, that's 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 a no for me, dog. <laughs> uh, so that, that's why I think that would be a no for me because I want somebody who's a little bit experienced. Like, even, it doesn't matter. There's girls who say they're goody good girls, but they're, like, freaks in bed. Like, come on, let's be honest. Uh, but I personally would prefer somebody who's a little bit more experienced in, in the bedroom, just because that's something that I do enjoy and something that I look forward to, you know what I mean? So, um, I definitely would prefer somebody who is experienced. Like, that's just my case. There's plenty of guys who prefer something different, want something different, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's why I'm saying, like, there's plenty, there's always someone for somebody, you know? Uh, I just want somebody who's a little bit more freakier. Like, I'm just saying, let's be honest. <laughs> All right, so let me get into the next question. Sorry I don't have the music either because... IG, because I'm live on IG and on TikTok. IG is super sensitive about having music. TikTok is super sensitive about the things that I say. Like, we don't win over here, but we have to play by the rules. <laughs> uh, all right, so next question. Guys keep making plans, but leaves me hanging every time. What do I do? I just can't seem to let him go. Help. Girl, just pay attention to those. Like, if he's constantly making up excuses, telling you this, telling you that, canceling, he's not interested. Like, if he was really interested, he would make plans with you, and then he would, like, like go through, follow through with them. Someone who's not really interested in you is going to constantly, you know, uh, be, like, canceling. And if you're hooking up with him, of course, he's just going to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to hang out, we're going to do this, but never end up doing it. Because why? He's just trying to breadcrumb you, keep you along. And if you want somebody who's serious, and, and at the end of the day, think about this. Have a little bit of self-respect for yourself and be like, I'm not going to let this guy drag me around like that. I want somebody who is for me, wants to take me out, wants to do things. And there is somebody out there for that. You're just wasting your time with this guy that's preventing you from finding that person. So stop wasting your time with this person who keeps canceling, 
treat like gives you the bare minimum, doesn't even hang out with you, cancels all the time, and just wait. Wait for somebody to come along that's going to treat you the way you want to be treated. Like, let's not be in a hurry to be in a relationship now. Come on now. Come on now. Hold on, let me take a drink. Shout out. I really like these. I get these at Walmart. It's those clear, uh, like, sparkling waters. These ones, fire. Fire. All right, let's get into the next question. Besides a beautiful smile, what else do you find attractive in a woman? And does it matter if she is 8 to 10 years younger than you? All right, so beautiful smile, that's, this is why I always say, like, you have to be attracted to whoever you're with. Some people are like, do you have to be attracted to this person? I see a beautiful smile, and I'm like, her. <laughs> uh, I've never been like, that's a horrible smile, I'm going to hit her up. Never been like that, okay? So it's, that usually opens, like, makes me want to pursue this person, or, like, say something to this person. Now, can that bite you, bite you in the ass? Absolutely, yeah, because you can like talk to somebody that has a beautiful smile and then they're a piece of shit of a person, right? So, and But it also can be like somebody awesome, amazing. So it can be either or. Um, and eight to 10 years younger. So here's the thing. I like somebody who's closer to my age, mainly because of experience. Like, not experience, but maturity. If... Uh, I, you can tell right away when you have a conversation with somebody that they're immature, they're, they haven't really experienced life and things like that. So you really can't like, I, I don't like communicate. If I feel like, I always say there's a difference between a woman and a girl. If I feel like I'm talking to a girl, like obviously like somebody who's uh, younger, maybe a little bit immature, that's not, I don't like that. I like to talk to women who have good conversations uh, have experienced life because they can relate to certain topics and, you know, they've been through ups and downs because imagine somebody who's younger and it went through a breakup is like all wild. And if you're like in your thirties and you went through a breakup, you're a little bit more mature and can handle that a little bit better. Uh, so it just depends. Like I always prefer somebody who's a little bit closer to my age, mainly because experience in life, maturity. Uh, I remember one time some girl lied to me, said she was a lot older, wasn't, and, but I could tell right away in her conversation that she, that the maturity wasn't there, and then when I found out she was actually not that old, well, she was of age, she was like 22, right, that's definitely a no for me, it was a no-go for me, you know what I mean, like, I just felt like she was like a little girl, uh, especially with her conversations, so that was a definitely a no for me, so, again, sorry if I don't answer you guys' comments and stuff like that, definitely like the, like the live, Share the live if you can. Uh, I am recording this live, so if you guys want to see it later, uh, I do have it on my YouTube. Okay, like link is in the bio, definitely for that. And if you haven't listened to today's podcast episode, definitely go check it out. Top ten reasons why uh, your person or you are probably not healed. Okay, so next question. I know your thoughts on marriage, but do you ever see yourself being a dad or a father figure? I mean, I always say if it happens, it happens. Okay. Like, uh, same thing goes with kids. Like, I absolutely love kids. Uh, am I in a hurry to have them? No. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just focused on me and doing my thing. But if it happens, if it happens, I'm not going to run away from it. And also, at, like, if I'm looking for somebody who's a little bit older, let's be honest, people who are a little bit older probably got a kid already. Probably got kids already. And that's okay. You know what I mean? I've already accepted that. Uh, I'm not out here looking for that. There is guys, obviously, who are who say that they need to have somebody who doesn't have kids because they're not going to raise anybody else's kids and stuff like that. Totally get it. If that's the way you think, then that's why you guys should bring up that you have kids right away and and things like that, because if that person is not interested in taking that journey with you, then obviously that's the wrong person for you. So uh, would I be a hell of a dad? Hell, yeah, it would be like I'm a, I think I'm pretty cool. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I think I would be pretty cool. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell, right? All right. Hold on. Let me see. Next question. Um, what is your favorite way to make a girl? Um, I haven't really thought of a favorite way to do it. Uh, I just like it when they do. You know what I mean? Like just the, just seeing the visual, like seeing them finish, like that shit is hot to me. 
and it satisfies me uh, and things like that. So there's no actual real favorite position I, because I just love having great experiences, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if you, you guys get what I'm I don't know if you're picking up what I'm putting down here. OK, <laughs> but I just like to have great experiences and just I get enjoyment from seeing them finish. Like, that's my thing. It's not a certain position. You know what I mean? I Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm sure people have uh, their favorite positions and things like that. Perfect. Cool. Do that. If you guys like that, go for it. <laughs> uh, I just like to see them, you know, and I'm also like, because it could happen in a different, any position, like different positions. You just never know. So, all right. So let's get into the next question. Is a long labia a turnoff for most guys? Now. I don't think so. Never had an issue with it. I think it's more like uh, you're just insecure about certain things because the whole thing about having like the mom pooch and things like that, too. Like, uh, I know you guys asked that question before, too, is is that an issue? Do guys think it's an issue and things like that, like this, that like it's always some most guys. Uh, trust me, I said it before, like the mom pooch, you have that you hold on to it. It's good for more RPMs, you know, uh, you can faster, like hold on to something, hold her off. That way she's not moving so much. You know, that's why I said higher RPMs. <laughs> um, but I don't, for the most part, it's not an issue. I think people tend to overthink certain situations. And if they don't like it or if they have an issue with it, tell them to go find somebody else. <laughs> like simple as that. Like if they don't like it, cool. Uh, but for the most part, just like the mom pooch and, and, and stretch marks and things like that. Most guys don't care. Like, let's be honest. Uh, if you're, if people are to that point already where they're uh, probably hooking up with you, trust me, they're not going to be like, oh, mom pooch, got to go. <laughs> they're going to be like, hold, hold on for dear life and, you know, give you guys the best high RPMs possible. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> Even though higher RPMs could mean less uh, time, you know, because, like, when you floor it, uh, you tend to run out of gas kind of quick. All right, hold on. Let me get into the next question. Sorry if I'm like moving along. It's just there's a lot of questions, and I'm trying to get to uh, as many as I can today. I am going to go live again Wednesday, answer more questions, and I'll probably try to do another live on the weekend just so I can get all the questions for you guys. And also, uh, if you uh, miss your question for some reason i do upload them onto youtube as well so definitely check it out mar what's up girl how are you i see you guys mar is a badass woman she's a hustler if you guys haven't followed her i don't know what you doing <laughs> but what's up mar how are you all right hold on uh see you soon hell yeah i can't wait it's gonna be a vibe i'll tell you that right now i'll tell you that right now <laughs> all right hold on let me get into the next question I found a, a great friends with benefits. The S is amazing. I was writing him and I was hitting it so good. I got lost in the moment and said, God, I love you. He stopped mid thrust, looked at me and, and uh, in the eyes and said, I'm so fucking in love with you. Now he keeps telling me he loves me. Can I save the friends with girl? That man loves you. You made that man fall in love with you. That that cat made that man fall in love. Girl, what? Okay. Maybe you do. Maybe you do a little. You know, because, like, <laughs> you should have saved yourself. Like, you should have been like, I love you and the way you move. You know what I mean? Like, just save it, girl. You should have been like, yeah, I, I was trying to say I love the way you move. I love the way you're doing things and things like that. You got to save yourself somehow, girl. You have to have, like, a, hey, like, if this happens. Because now, guess what? This guy caught feelings for you. This guy may be in love with you now. Because, obviously, he said, I fucking love you. And now he's like, you know. So, <laughs> um, you might, I don't know. Uh, are you going to be able to save that? Probably not. Because now he's probably caught feelings. Or probably feels a certain way towards you. Uh, and to go backwards, probably not going to happen. Especially, like, if you tell him, hey, like, we were, it was in the moment. Things like that. It's probably going to hurt his ego. Be like, you know, he's going to be like, what the fuck? Like, what happened here? You know, like, it's gonna, he might get upset over it now. So, going back, probably not. 
But let's take this as a lesson learned and have like a fail safe next time. If you know you're going to say something like if you you come on, you know, if you're like, oh, I fucking love you and the way you move. You know what I mean? Like save yourself, girl. Like you should have been like, see, this is why, like, you got to be elite, right? Only the elite are going to catch that on and know how to recover from it. You know, like what's his name? Bear Grylls. Like you got to adapt and adjust. Like whatever he says, right? Uh, you got to be able to like if something fucked up happens, how do we recover from it? Uh, obviously, you failed at that girl and you need, you're you going to have to get some practice. You're going to have to fix this situation because you fucked up, girl. <laughs> Next question. All right. Hold on. Let me see. Should I believe him when he says he's going to leave? No. Nope. No. Nope. Absolutely not, girl. Absolutely not. If he was going to leave her for you. He would have left. A, he would have. He would have just done it. So uh, I remember I had uh, what's her name, Janet, on the podcast uh, and the TikTok a while back ago, and she talked about how. I mean, we talked about it too. Most of the time, the guy is never gonna leave the girl for somebody else. You've seen it in movies. You've seen it in TV shows. They cheat. They do something wrong. They're over here trying to fix the relationship, trying to win him back, and things like that. If he really wanted to be with you, he would have been like done with that i'm over here now you know simple as that him saying that he's gonna leave her he just needs time the right moment when is the right moment when is the right time like tell him that be like explain to me tell me when the right time is like i need to know right now when that is what does the right time look like what is the like right moment look like and i guarantee you he's gonna not know what the fuck to do (laughs) uh he, he just telling you, he just stalling until, like, whatever you guys have going on is over. So, he doesn't have to tell you. He he would show absolutely. Like, see, like, if you, this is why I love doing the uh, the live, the questions live, because you get instant answers from other people, too. And if you're watching this later, it's a bunch of nope, 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 nope. He doesn't, he's not going to leave. He's not going to leave you, uh, or he's not going to leave her for you. If he would have, he would have just done it and not even told you, not even made it, like, waited. Because, uh, again, tell him to show you what the right time looks like or, like, you know, the right moment looks like. And I guarantee you he's n- not going to be able to. So just call call his ass out. Be like, okay, it's the right time. Wait, okay, so what does the right time look like? Paint that picture for me. Come on here, freaking Bob Ross. Paint that. Paint that picture. Let me Tell me. Guarantee you he fucking chokes. I'll tell you that right now. All right, hold on. Next question. Tell me how we can link up. Are you talking about like the Power Rangers or like, you know, it's like Mighty Morphin Time or something like that? (laughs) I mean, think about this. You asked to link up with me. Like if you're talking about me, I'm just saying. Because obviously you didn't say like, Link up with somebody else. Uh, You should have. First of all, you're anonymous. So I don't know who the fuck it is. (laughs) You know what I mean? So like. That's what I don't understand. Like. (laughs) Especially like. Hey, we should go on a date. Hey, we should do this. Hey, we should do that. You guys know. I cannot see. Who messages me on the anonymous thing. Now, on the anonymous thing. You can pay for it. You can pay for it. But it doesn't tell you who it is. All it tells you is like, it's a, it's somebody in this pool of people right here. It's one of those person. That's all it's, oh shit. That's all it tells you. Uh, Sorry, I I put this on just to monitor the the audio. Uh, That's all it tells you. It just tells you, man, I can't even fucking hear shit anyway. So I don't don't know why I have it on. (laughs) Um, So like it it just, uh, I don't know who it is. That's not the right way to ask for a date. But trust me, if you want to link up, like we do a Mighty Morphin, like we can, uh, we can go get some Pokemon, p- play Pokemon Go. Like if you want to do that, like, what kind of link up are you trying to do? Huh? Like, are you trying to play like Nintendo Switch? <laughs> All right, next question. What does it mean when a man talk about how they gonna finger you, this and that? LOL. I've only heard I'm a f you like this and that finger. It makes me think that he has a small package. Now it could mean that. It could mean a bunch of different things. Like what if? He, what if his fetish is doing that? 
Like, what if he gets off on doing that, right? So think about that, first of all, okay? And then second of all, like, it could be, it could be. <laughs> That's why, like, it, it, I, I'm glad you guys asked these questions. There's no real answer because, again, it could be something that really turns him off is, like, him using his fingers. And there's nothing wrong with that. What if he loves it? What if he's, like, a fucking wizard with those fingers? You know what I mean? Like, he just does this, throws up gang signs, and all of a sudden, like, you just spray. Okay? Just saying. Uh, so, I mean, don't knock it until, like, you try it. Because uh, unless you, like, find out you hook up with them and then it's, you're like, that's why you use the fingers. <laughs> so, uh, that's basically it on that one. So, next question. Sorry if I missed you guys' comments. Sorry if I missed the stuff. Just remember, I am, like, trying to get to these right away. And I'm trying to focus on... I've tried focusing on the, the comments, too. And I lose my train of thought. And I fucking forget what I'm trying to say. So, uh, I know I can multitask. But sometimes it's hard to really multitask. Especially with two chats going. And trying to answer these questions. So, but don't don't forget to like the lives. Share it right now. Help your boy out. It helps your boy out. Okay? Like it and share it. Next question. I'm 5'2", want to put some inches in me and flip me around. We'll say, let's girl slide in those DMs so I can slide in you. Again. <laughs> See, like, this is the, okay, girl, yes, yes. I'm going to, I'm about to go find out who you are. I, yeah, let me hit you up right now, girl. Let me hit you up right now. Sent. Message sent. If a guy doesn't finish during S, does that mean he's not attracted to you? I recently started dating this guy. Very sweet. It was his first time, so I can understand maybe it's new to him. Uh, but I can't help and feel self-conscious because my ex had the same problem. Now, it could mean both this guy and the other guy uh, have been watching a lot of uh, a lot of this core in action. You know what I mean? Like those videos and stuff like that. So it takes a lot for them to get stimulated. So it takes them a while to finish. Or they're on some sort of drugs. Okay. Uh, so it, it could be either or. Like there's a bunch of different reasons why that is. I'm thinking is probably one of those two. It's probably Las Drogas. Uh, or it's probably that they're watching a lot of these videos online. Uh, so it's uh, it, it's really hard to say which one it could be. Maybe having the conversation, like what does he say? Does he is like, oh, like why doesn't he finish or something like that? So uh, again, are these even questions? Yes, they are questions. Let's not make people feel bad about the question. And... So I actually had this comment the other day. I want to bring this up. I had this comment the other day saying, like, why do you keep answering, like, similar questions? So you have to remember, like, there's thousands of you guys, right? It could be the first time. You probably followed me for a while and seen that question, okay? But it's probably their first time asking the question. And so I don't mind answering the question again because, again, if it's their first time answering the question that's or asking the question because they haven't followed me for a while totally wrong with that N nothing wrong with that so i i relate it to customer service you know you can't get mad at somebody if 10 people come into the store and ask you where the uh freaking where the paint is at you can't get mad and be like the fucking paint is over there uh you just be like oh the paint is over there oh the paint is over there because it's the they're just asking you it's the first person to ask so all right so and the guy has to throw us and i'm not drinking either somebody said drinking drinking a lot no oh yeah drinking a lot for the the finishing yeah, that that too. So this is like the sparkling water. I don't know if you guys ever had it. Got it at Walmart. They should sponsor me. Just saying. Hold on. All this talking gets me thirsty. All right, next question. I've been married for 24 years. I love my hubby, but when we get intimate, I don't like it when he wants to go down on me. I honestly don't like it, so I automatically stop him. Don't feel the need for him to go down. Is there something wrong with that? Now. Do you not like it because he's not doing it properly? Like, what is he doing? Is he biting you down there? Is he just, like, doing something weird down there? Uh, so it could be that. It could be that he's not really doing the right things down there, so you don't enjoy it. Uh, because for the most part, chat, help me out here. For the most part, I'm sure girls like it when a guy goes down when they know what they're doing. Yes or no? Like, I'll wait for you guys. I'll hold. Do, 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 do. So, I'm, hold on. Because I'm thinking for the most part, 
girls enjoy it when a guy goes down and they know what they're doing. You know, they're not down there just like chomping away. They're not, you know, biting it. They're not just like trying to stick their whole fist in. So uh, just screenshot it. <laughs> Try it out. Uh, yes, yes. See, like most of these girls over here, I think it was IG. Yeah. Uh, are saying over here. Yes, 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 yes. A bunch of yeses. So uh, if you for the most part, girls like it when a guy goes down. Hey, thank you guys for the gifts over on, on TikTok. I appreciate you guys. They like it when they go down if you know what you're doing and everything is right. It could be that he's doing something wrong that you're not really enjoying. Like if he's being rough, if he's doing something that you don't enjoy, it could be something like that. So that's why it totally, totally depends. Uh, because again, like if a girl goes down on me and she starts biting my shit, I don't like that shit. That shit hurts. It's sensitive. And you have to remind them of that too as well that it's sensitive down there. So like them thinking them fucking biting it like crazy, chewing on it or like pulling it, like biting it and like pulling it. Not going to work. Okay. Not going to work. Uh, so I think it would be better just to have that conversation because it maybe show them a video, <laughs> uh, show them a video, send them a video or something. Uh, be like, yo, we should try this, you know? Um, uh, but th that's what I think it is, is that he's not doing what you like. But again, because again, for the most part, girls like getting that when it's done correctly. And same same with guys. Same with guys. Like, they like, uh, so, see, like, all these yeses. All these yeses. So, uh, I'm thinking of something wrong with that guy. Next question. Have you ever had S with someone that you just feel like everything just fits perfectly? I have that with my friends who benefit when we finish. It's just, wow, he has me in love with the team. Uh, I think, yes, like you can be intimate with somebody and just everything goes great, right? Because maybe the vibes are there. You guys just connect on that level uh, sexually. And so, yes, that can absolutely do happen. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you you should at that level. So. Uh, all right, hold on, hold on. Let me just make sure it paused the, the TikTok live for a second. So just making sure everything is going great. Yes, 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 yes. All right, next question. What are your thoughts on cuddling and do you consider, consider yourself a cuddler? If so, do you prefer being big spoon or little spoon? Girl, I'm out here like if I ain't the little spoon, if I ain't think, if you ain't holding me, girl, no, I'm just joking. Uh, definitely not the little spoon. That That's just not me. Right, like I don't think I would enjoy that. You know, a girl. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. I'm holding you. I'm holding you. And girls, would you guys? Hey, thank you, yes, for the gift. Would you guys want to be the big spoon? <laughs> like, do you feel like you're being the masculine one? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I I just feel like that's not very manly. Again, like I don't know. That's just me. I prefer to be the bigger spoon. And I don't mind cuddling, but if I get hot, I don't like to cuddle anymore because like starting to sweat, starting, you know, when you start feeling hot and shit, uh, that's why, I, like, that's when I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna pull off. Uh, that's why I like, I, I, I like a room cold. Uh, I like a fan going, you know, because that takes a little bit longer to heat up, uh, and, and things like that. So, uh, if I start sweating and feeling uncomfortable, then that's when I'm like, Get off of me, fam. <laughs> All right, so let me get into the next question. Sorry, it's because we have a shit ton of questions, and I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. I am going to go live again on Wednesday and answer more questions, and possibly this weekend. Uh, if you guys missed the live any of those days, I do record them all, and I do upload them onto my YouTube, which is linked in the bio. So definitely check it out. All right, hold on. Next question. Funny dating story. Was texting this guy from an app. Met him in public because he seemed too eager. We were in the parking lot. He got in my car in my car to talk because AZ heat. He was going to go ask for a hug. And before I knew it, before I knew what was happening, he was jerking off in my car. I was in shock as I grabbed him. <laughs> what? Girl, you should have. See, that's weird. Okay. Like, you should have had like some sort of protection with you, like some sort of pepper spray or something. Because if, if he gets in and all of a sudden he just like starts whipping it out because he thinks you're going to be like, 
oh my god, he's he's beating it right now. I want it. Give it to me now, man. No, that's the weirdest shit ever, and it's a huge red flag. If I like, if you would have seen that, say I would have been a girl, I'd been like, oh shit, what the fuck? Damn, that's small. It's pepper spray. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, first of all, you kill his ego, and then you kill his eyeballs with some pepper spray. That's why you ladies need to be carrying something to protect yourself because you never know when somebody's going to be weird like you thought everything was going great up until that moment right so and it could have been something bad too what if he was there to take advantage of you you know what i mean like it could have been bad because obviously he was brave enough to freaking just whip it out and go off you know what i mean so uh definitely make sure you guys stay protected I know you were in a public place, but it's it's still like could be ended up badly. So definitely, uh, <laughs> you gotta have some protection, just in case he decides to whip it out like that. Uh, you can pepper spray hit his eyes, and then just pepper spray that too, or something like that. So, <laughs> so anyways, next question. All right. When you are about to hook up with someone, what is the first thing you do to signal to the lady it is about to happen? I guess I'm asking if you start making out first, then foreplay, or do you go straight into sex position? Curious. Want to know. Well, first of all, I make her sign a consent form. You know what I mean? Like, uh, she has to, I'm like, hey, like, before we move any further here, I'm going to need you to sign on this dotted line, okay? Like, I don't want you to come back and sue me for no reason. So, uh, I think it just <laughs> totally depends on the vibes. You know, uh, if you can tell by like when you're making out with somebody, if you're kissing them, the body language, like all that, you can, if you can't, then something's wrong with you. But most of the time, like you should be able to tell that you're going to hook up. And the girls know, I've seen those videos, like some girls know when they're going to give it up to somebody, right? So I think it just mainly pay attention to the body language because I don't do like a certain position, you know, and, or like signal them, like throw up some weird signs, you know, or do like some sort of dance and see if uh, it's is going to be on and popping. Uh, but it's more of a just pay attention to the body language. Like you can tell, like if you're making out with her and you're kissing her and you're grabbing her and she's just like all over you, pulling you closer, uh, even trying to take off your shirt or something like that. You know, <laughs> um, that's kind of signal enough. Uh, but if she just like a quick kiss and then, like she backs out, don't be like, oh, shit, she wants me and she gonna get it right now. OK, uh, <laughs> so it, it it totally depends. It totally depends. There's no signal. I just pay attention to body languages uh, and things like that. So that's just me. So anyways, again, sorry if I'm not getting to your guys's comments or anything like that, because I know a bunch of people are commenting. I just lose focus when I try to answer the question and try to answer the question or like read the comments and stuff like that. So you guys know I love to answer all your guys' comments. But when we do the questions live, I focus on the questions. OK, so uh, and if you miss it, remember, YouTube definitely be there. So like the live, too. It helps you boy out and share it if you can. All right. So next question. Wasn't it eight was in a relationship with a guy for eight months. Then he completely ghosted me. With no explanation. Why would he wait eight months and not just say he was unhappy and cut it off? So, there's a lot of different reasons for that. Could have been he was in a relationship and he got caught. And like he, you just didn't know because he blocked you and just left or whatever. Or it could have just been like he was bored. You were responding. It was a little bit of entertainment. So, uh or you were just a placeholder, like, especially on a guy's roster, like, you could have just been a placeholder, like, you could have just been like, yo, he really wants this girl, but he's gonna, he entertains, he gives a little bit of attention to these other ones, unless the top one is like, hey, I want you, and he's gonna be like, fuck these girls, I want you, <laughs> you know, or something like that, so, again, like, there's a bunch of different reasons why that could happen, or maybe he just wasn't feeling you, he went eight months, he probably was like, they say an eight dog, and so he decided just to move on. But it's it's really hard. Most guys won't have that conversation where they'll be like, "Hey, I'm not really feeling this. We should go our separate ways," or anything like that, because it's an uncomfortable conversation. Hey, podcast link in the bio. Uncom uncomfortable combos, uh, and they would just rather just ghost you. 
Like that's it's so much easier just to not respond to somebody, not talk to them, not have to deal with the whole emotional roller coaster that comes with it too. Because what if you think it's going great and he's not really into it and he tells you that he's done with this and then you just break down or something like that? You know, that's why it's like a bunch of different things. So uh, if he did that, don't take him back, especially if he tries to come back, girl. Be like, fuck out of here. <laughs> um, because if he did it one time, he's probably going to do it again. Uh, so that's why I always say don't take don't take somebody back who goes to you because they're just going to do it again. Like, let's just be honest. OK, so. All right. Next question. I've been talking to a guy for two months and he, he's been asking me to come over and stay the night, but won't touch me or F me. We hooked up four times and even took my V card from the, the from the back. And now he hasn't touched me. What am I doing wrong? Um, I've been talking to this guy for two months and he's been asking me to come over and stay the night, but won't touch me. That's like, I'm confused. Is are you? Is he still coming over after the fact? Like, it could be that he's not into you anymore. Like that, maybe he likes the company. Uh, because that's weird. Like, why would he come over? He's already like hooked up with you. It could be that he's just also using you because maybe since you said he took the V card from the back, like it could. I'm not saying he is like this has no correlation to that. But what if he was just like around just to be because he likes guys and now he's just using you as an excuse to uh, say he has a girlfriend to hide that. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying that could be a possibility. You ask me and I'm telling you because uh, that I, I find that really weird that you guys hooked up before. Now he's not hooking up with you. He's not touching you. And my my next thing would be leave this man. It's been two months. Like we lost two months. Okay, cool. We out. Let's go. Uh, stop. Leave this man. It's been two months. Like we lost two months. Okay, cool. We out. Let's go. Uh, stop. Sorry about that TikTok. I don't know why it stopped. It just stopped. So my bad TikTok. It just stopped for some reason. No reason. Oh, I don't know why. I thought <laughs> for a second I thought I got. Freaking suspended again. So I was like, it was clean. What are you talking about? Like, I wasn't talking about anything bad. <laughs> so it could be something like that. Uh, you only lost two months with this man, girl. Cut him off. Cut your losses. Nothing you can do. You lost two months. Move on. All right. So next question. All right. Anonymous. Pl you know this is anonymous, right? <laughs> Anonymous, please, why do men pretend to like you? Poetry, faking that they want to commit, being a, a perfect gentleman, good communication, then disappear. Like, why just say you just want to hit it? Shit hurts people's feelings because <laughs> if they told you how they really felt, they wouldn't. you wouldn't give it to them. Imagine, like, you start talking to them, and then you're just like, hey, just a heads up, I'm just trying to hook up. <laughs> You'd be like, pass. Uh... That's why it's hard, like, you maybe waiting a little bit longer before you hook up with him and see if he's pretty consistent. If somebody who actually likes you, they're, they'll be more willing to wait to hook up to you, hook up with you. Uh, but again, n most guys, they're just going to give you what you want to hear in the beginning, tell you all these things that they want to, you know, be perfect. And then once you give it up to them, they're gone. Bye. See you. Uh, they got what they wanted or they're just going to stick around for a little bit longer and then eventually goes to you. So that's why like it's difficult uh, dating just because you never know someone's true like intentions, you know, and that's what like time and consistency comes from actions. I say that shit all the time. I say pay attention to somebody's actions because uh, their actions will tell you exactly how they feel. If they're hot and cold in the relationship not really putting an effort into you or anything like that. Uh, trust me, they're not interested. If they're putting an effort, trying to get to know you, trying to see you, paying attention to all these things, they're probably interested in you. So they're not going to be honest. They're not going to tell you exactly how they feel. Uh, they're going to lie to you in the beginning. They're going to tell you stuff like that. So, all right, hold on. All right, next question. 
I'm 39 female and have never had an, an orgasm. I don't like to, my mind wanders not in a good way. I lose focus, don't enjoy it. I love being with a man. I love S. I feel like there's something wrong with me. Just curious to get your input on it. Girl, it could be that these guys are not doing it for you and they don't know what they're doing. So first of all, are you faking it? Have you faked it? <laughs> uh, or if you don't, it's hard because 39 years old and you've never finished. That's a problem. Okay. That's a problem because that's just clear that the guys that you've been with don't know what they're doing. Uh, so where are you finding these inexperienced uh, people? That's that's my next question. Because um, there's guys out here who can do it. There's guys out here that are going to be able to, you know, mission accomplished, you know, uh, 39 years old and you haven't, where are you finding these guys? Like freaking Wish? Huh? Timu? Is that where you're shopping? Uh, yeah, let me find out you're on uh, freaking Timu or something like that. So let me find out you're on Timu. Let me find you, you're on Wish.com. So uh, and Time to introduce toys into the bedroom. Exactly. Uh, he's not good in bed. You have. This one says what she needs to know how to to, the, to body to relax. See, take all these adult uh, like toys, relax, maybe be in present in the moment. Because if your mind wanders when you're doing it yourself, like. What? Does it wander when somebody else is doing it for you? You know what I mean? Like, what if your mind's wandering then, too? So, it would just be relax, chill, use some toys, do some different things, stop going to Timu, stop going to Wish.com, and getting these guys, okay? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get into the next question. Love your video. So, I've been uh, a tubal litigation done three years ago, so no more babies. For me, anyways, I'm gonna start dating again. Should this be something uh, right off the bat, or should I wait? I mean, I think it should be right off the bat because what if that guy wants to have kids and now you can't? That's why, like, do you have kids? Do you want kids? And you know, go based off a of litigation fool. My bad. Uh, like. If they want kids, then you know what I mean? Like, bring that up. Because if they want kids, then guess what? You can't have kids. And that's why you should also bring it up that you have kids. Because there, I've said it before. There are some people who don't want to take care of other people's kids. And so that's something that you need to bring up right away. Um, so I would definitely... I mean, you don't have to tell them that. But... Finding out if they do want kids, like that's something they are looking for. Now you know this is probably not going to work because if this person wants kids and you can't give them that, it is not a problem right now, but it will be a problem. You know what I mean? What if he gets later on in life and he's just like, I need kids. I want kids. Like, what the fuck? I can't have them with you. I'm going to leave. You know what I mean? So you got to think about all these things, too. So uh, at the end of the day, you're an adult. You can tell them. I, I think it would be safe to tell him, like, after you, if he says he wants kids and be like, hey, I have this done, can't have kids anymore. And he's probably, like, if he really wants kids, then it's probably not going to work out. And don't let him be like, oh, I think, well, if he even questions it a little bit, it's a no, dog. Because if he's questioning it, later on, he's going to get that feeling that he wants to have a kid. Probably going to go have a kid with somebody else. Just saying. So. All right, next question. My man and I have been together for a few months, but he's super traditional, especially when it comes to S. I've toned down my crazy side a bit. I don't want to rush into anything too crazy with him, but when do you think is a good time to start introducing some, <laughs> into some more kinky in the bedroom? Girl, the best time to start introducing stuff like that is right away because why? In the beginning, the guy is head over heels over you, and he's going to want to do anything and everything you want to do. So if you tell him, hey, let's do this, let's do that, they're more likely to do it because they don't want you to go anywhere. That's why like, I always tell you guys, if you guys have an issue, bring it up right away. Because uh, if they really are into you, really want to fix things, they'll fix it right then and there. 
Uh, and same goes with the bedroom. Like, start introducing some kinky stuff, girl. Because you never know. What if he's a freak? And he's just, like, holding back a little bit because he's just trying to see, like, where you sit at. And he doesn't want to seem like he's a super crazy freak. So just go for it, girl. Why not? Like, why not introduce it right away? Let him know. <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to do this. Uh, and if he doesn't, or get him comfortable into doing it. Because there's some guys who aren't comfortable. And that in the beginning of a relationship, when they're more than likely going to do whatever they want for this girl because they really like them and they're trying to keep them or anything like that, they're going to do it. So I would say try doing some of that stuff right away just because uh, try to do it right away because the sooner the better because if they're not super comfortable, they'll get comfortable. They'll be like, I ain't trying to lose this girl. And plus she's a free girl. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, also, don't forget to like the live, share the live, okay? And I am going to go live again on Wednesday and probably another day during the week or week, weekend. Uh, that way I can answer all the questions because I know you guys asked a bunch of questions and I'm trying to get to all of them uh, as long as they're good questions. And I know uh, earlier some people were asking how to ask questions. Uh, follow me on IG uh, over, it's linked in the bio. Scarface is my personal account. Scar Talks is where I post all the questions, but I post them on both. Uh, that's where I put, I'll put like, hey, we're doing the the August live, ask your questions. And all the questions that get asked during that time that uh, that story is up, here we are, okay? Uh, all the other questions that I just randomly put up there and then you guys ask, those are all just going to be videos that are going to be made later on. Uh, and so every month I do like to have a monthly live where we go live just like this. We read the questions, we answer the questions. And you guys get like real time answers. And the cool thing is that everybody else, that's why it's good to join the live, not just rewatch it because you can watch all the comments, people, you know, giving their two cents and stuff like that, too, which is great. So, all right, let's get into one more question because my ass is getting tired of talking here. When you why when guys uh, get a good woman, they don't know how to treat her right. Um. Because you're just not the one, girl. You know what I mean? Like, they'll do, I don't know. Like, a bunch of guys go through different things. Because if you find the one, why wouldn't you want to treat that person like a queen, amazing, and things like that, right? Uh, and if you're not the one, they're just going to, you know, obviously try to win you over. And then mainly because they're probably trying to hook up with you and then just leave. Or they just didn't see you like that. Or it, it's also, depending on their age, they could be young, immature. Uh, I'm not saying older people are super mature and like, don't do these type of things either. But it just, it, it, it's a lot of things, you know. It, and it sucks because I think one of the worst things that you can do is like someone treat you like crap. And then you, you're willing to go back with them. Because if they did it one time, they're probably going to do it over and over and over, you know. Um, they're not going to treat you horrible. And then be like, oh, okay, like treat you good for a little bit and then treat you horrible. And then they'll be like, no, I changed again. And then it's just the same shit over and over. So do guys lose good girls? Absolutely. And it sucks for them because then somebody else is going to find how amazing this person is, you know. And then they're going to see, oh, shit, she was amazing because these are, like this other girl that I've been talking to ain't shit. Uh, but th by then, it's going to be too late. Hey, thank you, Yachty, for all the gifts. You guys are amazing. Uh, shout out to everybody on the TikTok. So definitely don't take anybody back either. Like if you, if don't let people treat you like shit. Like I trust me, it's easier said than done. I've done it. Like I've had it done before. I get it. Sometimes when you're in it, you're in it. Uh, but then you learn from that. I think that's why it's another good thing that people go through shitty situations because you learn what's shitty and what's like what you're not going to tolerate anymore. And so as long as you learn, not like as long as you like treat you like shit, treat you like shit, treat you like shit. At one point, we got to learn here. <laughs> so but anyways, thank you guys for jumping on. I am going to put this live on my YouTube. So if you guys missed out, definitely check it out. I'm going to go live again on Wednesday. That way we can answer some more questions. Because trust me, I still got. Hold on. Let me bring this thing up. Oh, easy, easy. Probably like 30, 40, probably about 40, 50 questions left. So trust me, I'm going to get to your guys' questions. If you guys ask the good one, 
I'm going to get to your guys' question. It's when, like, if you ask me what my favorite color is, I'm just going to post it on the story. If you guys ask me, like, a simple question, like, let's go on a date, I'm going to post it on my story. Uh, if you ask me, like, some a good question, it's going to show up on the live. Uh, and then you're going to get an answer from me. Uh, definitely check out today's podcast episode. It is the top 10 reasons uh, or, you know, reasons why somebody is probably not healed, either you or your partner. Uh, shout out to everyone who sent me messages on it. You guys are amazing. Uh, and you can video versions are on Spotify and YouTube, which are both linked in the bio. And also any streaming platform that you listen to your podcast, we're probably on there too. You just got to find like uncomfortable combos. That's the name of the podcast. Uh, where do we send questions at? So the, the questions for the live is already closed because I do it. I put, I put this, uh, this question thing up probably like a week ago, if not a little bit longer. And I specifically said for the August live. So pay attention to that. That's why like follow me on IG. Scarface is my personal page. Uh, and then Scar Talks is where I'm live on Scar Talks because uh, I'm live on both. That's where I uh, post like all the questions and stuff like that too. So, But I share it to both stories, uh, my personal and Scar Talks. So that's where you answer, ask it. But if you want some, if you want to ask now, for because I'm, I'm still going to be making videos, uh, send me a DM on IG, send me a DM on, on TikTok, either one works and I'll answer your guys' questions that way too. But it, you got to give me time to get to those because I do have a lot of them. So anyways, thank you guys. And shirt is also available by the way. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. And now we go through the awkward, Hey, let me end this one. Oh, Hey guys, you know, uh, I just, you know, just sitting here chilling, you know, seeing what you guys are up to, uh, you know, I need to, I need to go do laundry. I definitely need to go do that. Uh, and,